Well, the shop have got these in, and this is the this is the Alex loop. Now, what I've done here, just a little tiny test, I've actually set up on my U-bit. Um, I've actually got uh, a quite a large antenna outside, which is a a high gain DX88. Now, I'm not going to compare the. I'm not 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 comparing the two because I want to slag one off over the other or whatever, or say one's how brilliant it is. I just want to, so, you know, people can sort of see, you know, what, what sort of a compromise these can be, or in the case of most people, this may be all they can get. And this, I can see this being especially useful for people that maybe have got SDR, Play, DX, or something like that, where they just need a good quality loop. Um, that they can put, pick up and put away because it comes in a beautiful bag. I mean, I'll show you it in a second. Um, and it's well sorted. It's beautifully finished. Um, I'm astounded at the, the quality of it. It is uh, it is very, very good quality. And for a small portable loop that can take 20 watts um, SSB or 10 watts uh, continuous carrier, so things like CW and FT8, this would be absolutely fine for a maximum of, say, 10 watts. And that works an absolute treat. They're easy to use. Um, you tune them for the maximum noise. So you just tune this lower knob until you get the maximum noise. We tune away a little bit from here. Um, and then you've actually got this little indicator light on some with the included. Um, they basically they sell this this uh, Alex tune part separate. Um, some of them come with it built in some of them don't um, if you've got one that doesn't or well, this can be used on a homebrew one so you can buy these separately um, and I would say buy these separately because they're again that's really quite useful um, wish I'd known about them or at least uh, I wish I knew what was in it um, I could uh, homebrew one myself but um, yeah but yeah if now I know they're in existence I'll probably purchase one of those it looks really really decent um, these loops are not cheap, but there again, you're getting quite a lot for your money. I think, um, it comes in, I really like that. It's really posh, isn't it? Check that out. Um, yeah, I think they're brilliant. Um, I'm really impressed with this. Um, what was I going to do? We're going to show you something else. Um, little point to note, it's high voltage in, in there. So don't go taking covers off and transmitting it, holding it. That would be bad. A lot of current at the top, a lot of voltage down at this, uh, the capacitor end. Um, yeah, I'm very impressed. So let's whiz down to something like CW. Um, got anything there? Bit of CW. Just peaking that. And if you want to see what it's like, the difference, that's on the big antenna, that's on the loop. I'd like to point out, the big antenna is in the garden and is 7 metres tall. This is 1 metre diameter, or thereabouts, 900 or so, and is sitting on my bench in my, in my junk room, basically. So, <laughs> I'm really... I'm quite amazed with it. It's very, very good. Um, there's all your digital modes. Um, see where the old matey boy went. Oh, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Anyway, um, really, I'm very impressed with that. That is a very, very good, uh, a good thing. And uh, the actual loop comes apart very, very easily. Um, basically, you, it comes with a ginormous. Um, comes with a ginormous um, patch lead and it's made of quite stiff stuff actually I don't know what the cable is um, and let's just somehow do this without wrecking everything what I don't want to do is wreck my oscilloscope my pride and joy um, so just fight it there you go and that all rolls up you can see this all rolls up like so and you want to get this to about sort of a foot or so diameter and then get these bits of velcro on there 
flip them around and do the same with that one. Like that. <laughs> and uh, there you go. And that just pops up there for a second. Um, these don't come with it, like I said, these are separate. Um, I just thought I'd show you that anyway. Um, and this is, it uses a, a BNC type connection on the end. Um, so you're gonna need a little adapter probably for, for whatever. But these, all these parts then all like come apart like a Hoover attachment. So now you can see this whole thing just, now it's sort of taking a, a tiny little form factor up. Um, and what we do is, let's get this, let's get this zoomed together. Yeah. Making a pig's ear of this. But you can sort of see just how, um, just how quick and easy that is to, to deal with. Um, it came with an elastic band. I'm sure that uh, there would be something much better in the offing. And all you do then is you peel these back, lay the loop face down, that pops in there like so. Come on. Yeah, that lays in there like so. goes over like so, he goes in there and then that whole lot just gets held down with these. And then that goes over the top. That whole lot is in the bag. And that is a whole antenna. These are available in two versions, I think. These have got they've got built-in Alex tune and one that comes without. If you've got the one without, you can add this to it. If you've homebrewed one like I have there, then maybe you can use that on, on that loop as well. They work very, very well. Um, and like I say, there is um, there is a difference between you know a 600 pound antenna um, and one of these. Um, or a 600 pound you know home base vertical um, but there again if you're in a position where this is all you can use at home you know maybe you've got a small you know maybe you've got something like I've got here you've maybe you've got like maybe you're you're going to have one of the 705s that's coming out in the future this is a perfect antenna for a complete mobile kit can you imagine that nice little wallet the 705 going in there a battery as well that whole little kit that would be the absolute nuts I can see that working. Now, I am also going to look at um, this week. Hopefully, I'll try and get some daylight. I need some outside time. I'm um, going to get the DX Commander up as well because it's kind of in a different league, but again, portable. This is portable with some compromises, and the DX Commander is portable with no compromise. Um, it's a, you know, it's a beastie that is completely fold away and goes in a in a bag in the same way. Um, so just wanted to show you some little things. And um, so I borrowed this from work um, on Saturday. They said I could uh, take it and have a little look at it. And I am very impressed with this. Um, can't remember what the price is on this, but do check um, Martin Lynch and Sons for the, for the price. I'll put a link in the description below so you can go and have a little look. And if you do call into the shop, just say that you know you saw the Gaz Labs video and uh, and uh, you, you, you've uh, you've fallen in love with it, and uh, I'm sure they'll um, they'll get one out to you especially fast. Um, right now then, that will do I think. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the uh, good comments and uh, keep them coming. Um, I will I will be doing some more stuff as I say in the future, some more homebrew. 
Um, I'm looking for kits and schematics and um, basically little homebrew project ideas. So if anyone's got any, um, please let me know in the comments below. Many thanks for watching. See you soon.